Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, folks around the world. Welcome to another episode of Hangin' at NTHQ, live at Integrates headquarters in beautiful Chiba, Japan. I am your host, Integrates producer and localization director, Matt Papa, and to my right is Mr. Plus Ultra himself, who goes by the name of Andrew Singleton. Hey there, good noon again. <laughs> Happy noon, uh, afternoon, evening, morning? Early old morning? This morning. Yeah, we're glad you're here in Crates. Also in Chiba. In the Chiba studio. You are not in a parallel universe, right? No, no, we're here. In Thought person, I opened the live, portal. Live and, and rowdy. <laughs> live and rowdy. Extremely rowdy here at Indie Studios. Here in beautiful Chiba, Japan. It's good to be back with all you fine folks actually on schedule. Feels like we don't do that yep. very much nowadays, but we are here. Y'all are here. You know. Very happy to see you again. We've had a very busy past couple of weeks. Mm. Now Luminous Avenger X's release looms near. It it's is, coming, it is baby. Like it's charging happening. towards it. Yes, it's it is happening. Forward. You know, getting those less than two months. Those those tiny tweaks, those little turns of the wrench, oh, yeah. the little all those are it's pretty much done now. Now we just wait. We yep. wait. Now we wait. Mm -hmm. Well that doesn't mean we don't have other cool stuff going on here at Integrates, because I assure you we do. But before we talk about that, let's go on to the world of Andrew Singleton. Oh, just the localizing, short two weeks. Like localizing, localization Localizing. Guy. Localizing. Local you localizing. localizing. You always, always localizing. Always localizing. You know what they say. <laughs> A-B-L. Yes. Always be localizing. Yeah, you know, just keeping it real, keeping it chill, trying to keep it cool in the summertime. Oh my god, don't even. It finally don't started. even. Guys, it is. It's a bit delayed, but. The, the, as I call it, the it Japan summer. Air soup is here. Yep. Yep. The soup is here. It's here to stay. And for it's hot as holy future. hell outside. Yeah. It's high of what, like 95 Fahrenheit today? Like, was that like 30 or right. 35 Celsius today? Yeah, it probably feels about Some total nonsense. That, <laughs> Some yeah. total nonsense going on today. Yep. But we are here in the nice, crisp, and cool integrated headquarters of beautiful team of Japan. <laughs> Which is very nice. But what do you oh, yeah, you know, do? You, been, you, know. you know, you playing the video games, you're playing the yeah, good video I got, games. I got them credits on the on the Shadowbringer, so I'm doing the the MMO thing again. Grinding out God, the currencies. God, I I'm, I've been getting I've my been, craft, and you know, it's so bad about like <laughs> <laughs> about you know, because when when I sit down to play 14, I want to like get into it. Yeah, and like. When so that's the thing. That's what my like. I think that's a mistake when you're going through the story. Because for me, oh, no, I don't totally want to do it all at once. It totally like, is a mistake. Just chill it out. Like you can just take it a cutscene at a time and just, you know, I did not rush it. It was yeah. much better that way. Well, I'm still stuck in Stormblood. Yeah. And like all, all every pretty much everyone. I was like, oh, Shadowbringer was amazing. We're done. I'm like, but oh. it was very amazing. <laughs> like okay, I've not even started. But what I did do last night because I played this. I, I I went about six months without playing it at all. And then on the plane back from AX, um, I restarted playing uh, Valkyria Chronicles yeah. 4. I was like halfway through the game, and right. I just got away from it for a while, and I'm like, you know, just bleh. And then I was like, on the plane back, I'm like, you know, I really wanted to just play a tactical style game. So mm -hmm. I booted it back up, and I was just like, oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm back in it, and I just uh, finished the game with the true ending hey, last yo. night. Yes. Nice. So that was very, very, very nice. Yeah. So that was very satisfying. Now I'm done with that. Oh, done. I'm done with that. Put that on. I mean, I could do some like the, the super shell. hard like skirmish oh, battles if I want to, but like if that is the first time I've beaten a game that is that doesn't take like a couple hours <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in a long time. That feels good. Like a long, good. long time. Oh, yeah. Like I'm, I'm I'm ashamed at how long it's been <laughs> since it's since it really gets I, away from you sometimes. No, it really does. You know, just with. You know, with the schedules, you know, that we keep and, you know, mm. just real life happening and wanting to do other stuff, too. Oh, yeah. It, it happens. But it, that was super, super satisfying. And now I feel like I'm in a much better place to dive back into there you go. Dive back into 14. Get my pint-sized little red mage, at least through Stormblood and getting ready for the, the shadows that have been brought. Oh, man. <laughs> Many but, shadows. But, yeah, I mean, we play, we play a lot of video games here, in case Some you didn't notice. Games. I mean, that's... I mean, one, I think one of the prerequisites to working at a company like this is having a genuine love for video games. It, you know, ha you need to Indeed. have other skills too because yes. <laughs> you got to make the games too. Indeed. But you know, I mean, I think I 
speak for pretty much everybody here. We, have, we, we only have passionate people here for sure. No, absolutely, absolutely. And it, it's one of the like, you know, any like bit of game news drops and like half the office already knows about before you walk <laughs> in the door. Like it's <laughs> that's always fun. Yeah, it's fun. So I remember, you know, you just, you just see some news on, and it's like, oh, they're gonna be talking about this at the office tomorrow. Oh, yep, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so that that's really super satisfying. But you know what else is super satisfying? Video games? Besides video games. Uh, well, this is actually video our games, video games. So our video games. Our video games. More specifically, a video game that we released on Steam this very day. Put now this game. very day. As of what? Not even like 11 hours ago. Yeah. So we're going to get into the news because number one, right off the docket, is Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Yeah. Mighty Gunvolt Burst is now available on Steam. Yay. <laughs> We did it. <laughs> so Mighty Gunful Burst is was our second Switch release back in June of 2017. Yeah. Mighty Gunful Burst, for those of you who are not aware, uh, and we're going to be playing Mighty Gunful Burst later on the stream so you can get a good taste of it. It is basically like a classic inti, you know, style oh, yeah. 2D action mm. platformer. That's kind of like a mega mix of the worlds of Azure Striker, Gunvolt, Gal Gun, Gal Gun, and Mighty Number no. Nine, mm -hmm. all yeah. put together okay. into creating a whole new story so you have these characters in the game and they get to a, a, you get to enjoy a whole new original story with these beloved characters yeah, which is fun. really really cool super fun. Um, one of the big things about Mighty Gunful Burst that you may not notice right off the bat is as far as I have ever seen this is the most customizable <laughs> 2D action you know very, this style game experience that tweakable. I've ever seen if you like to tweak and you like to tinker and do all mm. that stuff Dude, you are going to have Maximum. a field day with Mighty Gunvolt Burst. You know, we have the three playable characters that you see there, you know, Gunvolt, Ekro, and Beck, are playable right out of the box on Steam. And then, of course, there are six other downloadable characters that we sell in two different packs. We got the Rivals pack, which has these characters' rivals. We got Copen, our, our, our boy in the shiny armor. Mm -hmm. We got Corona, the mischievous demon from Galgun, we got Ray, Slashy Mick, yeah. Slashy Mick, Crazy Pants from <laughs> Mighty Number no. Nine. Rude. Who's? But she's awesome though. She's, she's so much fun, fun to she's play. Like just like you know, because everyone's pretty much like you know a shooting character. Yeah. But Ray just gets right yeah, in there and just like rips stuff up. It's so cool. It's really and you have the heroines as well. So you got you know, and a lot of these characters are making their playable game debuts. Right. It's the first time you could heroine. ever play a game as mm -hmm. Corona, and then getting into the uh, heroines. Jewel from Gunvolt yeah. makes her playable debut. Super good. You got Call from Mighty Number no. Nine, mm -hmm. and then you have Tenzo, Tenzo. from the original Prime Galgun, Heroine. the OG, the OG Prime man from the original Galgun. In a way, the most desirable of heroines. Exactly, because not only does he have got that, it, it's weird because you know Ekero herself is a playable character, but she's also part right. of Tenzo's character too, no, along with Patako from mm -hmm. Galgun as well. So you get. You get, you know, all these different, and they all have different play styles, different unique abilities that they can unlock. There's so much content packed into Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Yeah. Like, it's, if you love 2D action, our, you know, our classic style 2D action, mm. you love to just get in there and mess around with characters, you're going to have a field day with <laughs> Mighty Gunvolt Burst. And then, of course, you know, now with the Steam release, joining Nintendo Switch and 3DS, well, they've got a lot of avenues it. to play, and I highly recommend you give it a shot. But if you want to give it a test run first, Playing that, yeah, in look. just a little bit. Is, it, is there the demo available on Steam as well? Not on Steam. Uh, on there Steam. is a demo version on Switch okay. and 3DS. Though. Let's check that out. Okay. So if you do want to give the try before you buy, you have the Switch and 3DS. You have that option as well. Now talking about Steam, we've been on a Steam release kick. Yeah. And, you know, this is our, this is you know the second game we've released in a very short time. The other Steam game that we have out as well, of course, mm -hmm. was our very first Nintendo Switch title. That, of course, is Blaster Master Zero. Yes. Now, Blaster Master Zero, we released back in June, maybe like mm. a month and a half ago. Yeah, June 14th. So, I mean, two games in, what, six weeks? Yeah. On Steam? You Steam people are getting it pretty good right now. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's just so, you know, these games, they, they, they make perfect sense to be on Steam. I know, yeah. you know, you PC heads out there have been asking us for these games for a long time now and it's just so nice to be able to finally start to, Get out there to uh, deliver on these and have them you know and they'll be mm -hmm. there forever now so fill up the catalog on Steam mm -hmm, absolutely sure. and you know now of course that we have 
Blaster Master Zero, and now Mighty Gumbo Burst. You know, we're still not done, though. No, no. No, absolutely no. not. Y'all thought we were done? No, no. We are absolutely not done. We still have more to come, you know. So, you know, definitely for all you PC people out there, I highly encourage you to check out our most recent Steam ports. And, you know, stay tuned because we're going to keep this Steam engine not done yet. going forward. So definitely stay tuned. You, you can just play on PC and nothing else. Definitely stay tuned because there's going to be definitely stuff for you as well, including Luminous Avenger X, which is getting yep. a, you know, simultaneous Steam, PC one. release with the console versions as well. So this is great. I love getting all this stuff on good. Steam. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now, speaking of Luminous Avenger X, since we last saw these fine folks in the chat, we've put out some new character introductions. Yes, I, I like these for, characters a lot. For uh, Luminous Avenger X. So for Luminous Avenger X, we, re we revealed two new characters, two new Falcons, mm -hmm. the quote-unquote bad guys, Sumeragis. so to speak, the Sumeragi people. Soldiers, the Elite. Falcons. Soldiers, yeah, that's very true. So first I want to introduce you guys to one of the new characters who goes by the name Stella. Let's bring up Stella here. And uh, I will I will tell you all about Stella once she, there she is. So Stella is an adept in possession of the Gravity Septima. Her control of gravity lets her swing high density bladed discs at her enemies, as well as restrict their movements by altering the gravity around them. She is more capable of lowering gravity than raising it though. She can lower the gravity over an entire area, but must focus on specific objects or people in order to increase it. Now, she became the president of the electronics manufacturer Gargantua at a young age. The company grew and became the nation's leading manufacturer thanks to her shrewd decision-making and top-notch business acumen. She has little faith in her subordinates, though, and treats her corporation as her own one-woman show. The sole exception is her android assistant, Dis9, who she has completely opened up. She became a Falcon Orc to protect Dis9, who is in danger of being confiscated by Sumeragi for research purposes. Research purposes. Now, what, 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 did you, what did you think of Stella when you first saw when, when you first saw her? Oh, she's great. She's got attitude. Oh yeah, no, the she attitude. has the absolute. Look at her. She's smoking a cigarette. She don't even care, dude. Like she's got this great accent. Yes. As well. So for those of you who know anything about Japanese, she speaks in a Kansai mm -hmm. or Osaka style dialect, yeah. which is you know can be very different sounding from like standard. Japanese. Yeah, and it's kind of like um, a rough version of it too. Right, exactly. So she's very much a rough and tough, mm -hmm. you know, CEO. Don't take S word from so anybody good. kind of person. Yeah. Uh, no, she's she's awesome, absolutely. And that just how her legs turn into a sword <laughs> when she transforms is pretty badass. Just saying, uh, that is really, 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 really cool. And then the other character we revealed is said android mm -hmm. assistant, Mister Dis Nine. Let's pull up Disc 9 over here. can't have here. one without the other. You cannot. You absolutely cannot. So let's get Disc 9 up here. And we'll talk about Mr. Disc 9. Because he's, uh, look at that dapper dude. He's so dapper. <laughs> he's so good. So we got Disc 9 here, who is an adept in possession of the Vector Cloth Septima. Mm. Disc 9 is capable of producing cloth that can manipulate vectors in whatever it touches, allowing him to deflect light and hide his location and alter the inertia of his enemies. Although, among all the mass-produced androids manufactured by Gargantua, by some miracle, only Dis9 has developed a quote-unquote soul and septima. This caught the attention of the company president, Stella, who ended up making Dis9 her personal assistant. She saved Dis9 from being confiscated by Sumeragi under the present, over the pretense of research, and now he feels an even greater debt of gratitude towards her. He's a boss. He is a total boss. He's a boss of a boss. He is a total boss. <laughs> I mean, like, he's just, like, so gallant. Yeah. Like, like this, like, he is there for her. Like, you try to mess with Stella, mm, you gotta get through, you gotta get through that first. Right. Good luck. Good luck with that. But, like, you know, he speaks in that, you know, he very much, he not only has, like, um, he, he doesn't just have, like, the butler aesthetic, mm. you know, but he also has, he has that just very much, you know, stout service yeah. attitude as well. You know, he speaks mm -hmm. very, like, like gentlemanly and like right. So yeah, it's he's, a good uh, like contrast to Stella. He's like oh, super absolutely. prim and proper, absolutely and like cool, calm, collected. She's like nothing. More. <laughs> no, <laughs> got not nothing to all. do with that. No, they, they are very much. It's very much an um, opposite attract kind mm -hmm. of situation. Like they complement each yeah. other very, very well. Um, and honestly, like when I when I first saw this, like like you know, because like the Japanese word for cloth and. Cross can oh, be yeah. exactly the same. <laughs> I was like, 
fast for a second to me, and I saw him, and actually, like, oh no, that's cloth. Oh. That's kind of even cooler, <laughs> actually, because I mean, like, yeah, like if if you look on the website, you can see some of like uh, six screenshots of some of his attacks. Mm -hmm. He is, I think, some of the coolest attacks cool. in the game. I think very unique. Yes, as far as these yes, go. like it's super cool. So I, uh, I'm very excited uh, that you guys have this nine's character introduction under your belts, and uh, we still got a few more to go. Oh yeah, we'll uh, hopefully be showing you guys Play in the more. very, very near future. Well, speaking of the near future, good sir, it is now August. Well, here in Japan, it's just about August for probably yes. most of you. And that means this is the month of PAX West. PAX West is our next event appearance that we got coming up here in good old 2019. Now for PAX West, we are going to be there from August 28th to August 31st. And I'm particularly right. excited about this year's PAX for a couple of reasons. I mean, this will be I think our, what, our third appearance at PAX at this point. Um, but we're doing something really special for this one. And then oh, yeah. kind of going forward at, I would say, most of our convention experiences. So for PAX West this year, and like I said, hopefully a lot of events going forward, we, for those of you who have ever seen our booths before, you know, you know, these are basically booths that we set up with our own two hands, you know, brought a bunch of stuff with us, had a bunch of stuff shipped in, do this, you know, we're not professional booth makers. We have limits. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah. have limits to what we can do, but, uh, you know, going forward from now on, we are going to have a full-blown, like, professional, legit trade show booth going forward at our big events from now on and I am so excited to be able to finally have this just take our convention presence and ramp it up over to the big leagues yeah like we graduated from the minor leagues we're in the majors now it, it's so exciting to be able to That'd level right. up that convention presence um, we got really big plans for PAX West this year obviously we'll be bringing Luminous Avenger X with mm -hmm. us uh, and we're going to be hoping to do some other really cool stuff. We'll see what happens, but I assure you this much. This will be our biggest and grandest booth we've ever had. Oh, yeah. Be it at PAX or any other event so far in our history. So I'm mm -hmm. if you guys are going to be at PAX or know anyone that's going to be at PAX, definitely tell them to come drop by the Inti booth because it's going to be awesome. I cannot wait to show you guys what we have in oh, store. Yeah. And not only that, we're going to have more merch than we've ever had before. I've been working on a whole bunch of new yeah. merch ideas and hopefully going to get those uh, ready for y'all soon. Yep. Been uh, working with some of our partners, maybe? Lately, we'll see. More merch, more demo stations. Yes. Everything is going to be bigger, grander, bigger, better, better. More space, more breathing room. And ab yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. So if you're going to be at PAX or know anyone's going to be at PAX, definitely come send them up to your old pals at Indy on the sixth floor and we would love to see y'all there. Now with that being said, that's about it for the news that we got. Is it? That's about it. I think we, we, we might have for good, forgotten something. I thought we had a new video to show. I did forget did. that. Might have skipped that. I did. <laughs> oh my goodness. I totally forgot. I am so sorry, gang. So before we jump into uh, before we jump into playing Mighty Gumball first, I in my infinite wisdom <laughs> Forgot to share a lovely okay. tidbit. Yes, yeah. I got very excited. I got very excited. So, about, I guess about a week ago, uh, mm. we released on, on our YouTube channel, we released the very first in a series of music videos featuring the Robo Muse herself, Lola. Mm. Now, we have the very first Lola music video here for y'all. So, sit back, get cozy, and I want to play that Lola music video for y'all. Can we do that? Can we do that? Is it legal? I believe so. I believe so. It's on the...
right. Good stuff. There you go. There you go. That is Lola's very first single. Countdown 3210. And that's just one of many. Yes, many new Brand songs. new Lola tracks that are going to be in Miss Avenger X. So look forward to not only all the tracks are going to be available in the game, but we're going to be having, I believe we're going to have more music videos coming out on the into YouTube channel as well. So definitely oh. stay tuned for those. Yeah, so apologize for getting my order mixed up, but. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that should about do it for the news segment right. of the show. And now, when you're talking about Mighty Gumball First All Stream, I want to transfer over. Yeah, there's there there it is. <laughs> there there's it my is. PAX thing. There's my PAX thing. Oh, we already talked about PAX. So uh, yeah, I got that a little bit Be out there. of order. But yes, August 28th to September 2nd, we will be at PAX. Mm. It's going to be absolutely awesome. But now, good friends, I think it's about time we switch things over to the Nintendo Switch version of Mighty Gumball Burst, just because it's much easier for us to set up here in the yeah. studio. Uh, but this is exactly the Beats experience you will be getting on Steam mm. as well, so no worries there. So let's switch things over to the game. We are going to get some Mighty Gumball Burst going on. And it's going to be awesome. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to start from the very beginning to give you, kind of give you guys a little taste of what we're going to get into. Yeah, if anybody hasn't seen it before, I mean, the best chance. Yeah. No better time to be playing Burst. Exactly. No, there really isn't. So, when, so right out of the box on Steam, you will have... Mm -hmm. I have I have the DLC characters on here, but right. right out of the box, you will have Beck, Gunvolt, and Ekro as playable characters. And these are some aforementioned DLC characters, Call, Jewel... Ray, Copen, Corona, Tenzo, everybody. But uh, I think we've been talking about Gunvolt games a lot. So uh, yeah. let's play some our boy GV. The near future, a new type of supernatural sentinel power has emerged. A mass conglomerate known as the Sumeragi Group set out to bring all adepts, those who possess these powers, under their control, but their ambitions were thwarted by Gunvolt, a young man with the septimal power of lightning. After his battles with Sumeragi, Gunvolt rested at home where he could heal his body and mind alongside Jewel, an adept girl known as the Muse, who now resides within Gunvolt and exists only in spirit form. However, a new source of tone oil for adepts has arrived on the scene. Now, on a mission one day, Gunvolt witnessed a strange glimmer. He had a bad feeling about this, but it was already too late. The world around him was suddenly engulfed in a dazzling light. Oh man. As his eyes began to adjust and he got a feel for his surroundings, Gunvolt realized that he was in completely unfamiliar territory. He also made another discovery. He could not freely use his septimal powers. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, hop right into our uh, opening stage. stage city. But yeah, this is what we were kind of talking about before. I'm gonna get too into it right now, but you can fully customize your uh, lots of different ones. Actually, no, I'll, <laughs> do this later. I'll do this later. I'll do this yeah, later. Yeah, get some, get you some uh, customization points yeah, before that. you get started on the customization. There's a boy. <laughs> Look over there. Is that looking at the wrong <laughs> screen? Oh, I have an unpleasant time watching the stream. Yeah, trying to play the game. <laughs> Yeah, if anybody's got any questions, feel free to toss them in chat. You want to, talk, you want to explain to you a little bit about, like, you know, Burst combo sure. and like, all that stuff? Yeah, you know, the game is, is named Burst after the main mechanic, the main scoring mechanic, I should say. Whenever you are you defeat an enemy when you're at point-blank range, you'll get a burst, you'll get bonus um, points, and you'll get a burst combo. And the, as the combo goes up, you'll get more and more points, but you'll break it if you happen to... Uh, Defeat an enemy from a bit, a bit more distance. You have to be pretty close right to the burst. <laughs> um, but there are also certain other abilities that will activate a burst even at a distance. Um, like, I believe there's a power up that does it. And certain characters have different mechanics that will get burst so, in different ways. But yeah, that, that's the, you know, if you want to go for score, that is the way you do it in this game. Sort of like um, in the Gunvolt games, the Kudo system is the main scoring mechanic. Right. And in the opening stage, you'll see these kind of, you see these kind of little like uh, inf information uh, nodes here that kind of tell you about. These are obviously unique yeah. to each character, so if you want to, these are basically give you all the information you'll need mm. to know about um, about each character. Uh, 
Oh, it's got a sticker. Nice. And, uh, that's one of the... Oh, damn, two stickers. All right. <laughs> those are random draws. Yeah, yeah those so stickers are kind of a fun little optional item you can collect. You'll, you can attach them to, like, your different weapon loadouts and your character profiles and things. Yeah, well, you see, pixel right, right now you see gun bolts in the top left, but you can change yeah, that later yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, you can change. change it to Corona. She's awesome. I may have it in by the looks pretty good. But yeah, you want to collect those little modules, find all those, because it'll give you more options when you customize yeah, your weapon. These are, every, every time I'm getting one of these, these are getting, giving me um, bonuses like you know, uh, raises my total custom. Oh, sticker went in the pit. No. <laughs> that sucks. That's um, You know, like either permanently raises your customization points um, or unlocks new abilities that you can, you know, that you can use. You now those those little those little blue power pickups that I'm doing like raise your CP by a little bit. These yep. ones raise them by quite a bit. Gotta have those. Once you get a bunch of uh, CP, you'll really <laughs> make some pretty powerful weapons. Say. Of course, you can also use those. Uh, that's how you'll activate like double jump, double jumps, and air dashes for movement options. Like you can uh, reduce the damage you take, all sorts of stuff. Gunvolt, just like he can in his game, he has access to different skills that he can basically keep on the uh, the A button. You know, like, you know, I have this open. Yeah. I, he has, like, the skill slots right below his health up at the top, so I have two left, so I can use another Astro Sphere if I want. Keep that baby going. Yep, and he's got his CP meter right below his health. I no think Gunvolt has to find the new ones with uh, modules, right? A new skills? skills? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so pretty little, much, little pretty much everything is based on the modules. Yeah. you got to find the modules, and mm -hmm. then you equip them. Yeah. You know, Some modules require more CP to use, so, mm -hmm. and that's kind of where you have to decide. It's like, oh, I really want the super powerful one, but that means you may have to disable some other modules to have enough points for it. You know, yeah, until you, get until you keep getting CP. more. Yeah. Boy? Nope, it's a robot. <laughs> it's a boy robot. Come on. Be careful, Chiefy. I've got a bad feeling about this one. That, of course, is the little the little <laughs> ball of there. light jewel talking. That's not Gunvolt talking to himself in the yeah. third person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice to meet you. My name is Beck. I'm a member of the super robot team known as the Mighty Numbers. And here I tell you that you're going to have to participate in the Super Mighty Battle Showdown. You're up against my robo siblings. Should you defeat them, you'll take on the reigning champ, me. See ya. That was an odd introduction. Guess I'm gonna have to play along. Damn sudden robot fighty tournaments getting in the way. Everyone wants to fight. Thanks to a, a robot boy named Beck, I was forced into becoming a participant in some sort of robot battle tournament. I've heard of martial arts tournaments, but this is the first robot versus human one I've seen. At any rate, it looks like I won't be able to freely use my powers. Ever since we got here, Jewel, the one who powers up my abilities, has not been feeling very well. You need to find a way out of your ASAP. For now, though, it's off to the next stage. Where I will hand the controller to Andrew. All right. So now when you beat a stage, uh, there's r these rare items uh, that you can sorry, only you get know. after com clearing a stage. Mm -hmm. You choose the sticker or the uh, the CP mm -hmm. bonus, which that's is 300. Tough. That's quite that's a, a bit. Well, that's always a tough choice. For or, or the ability that you can only get for defeating a stage. All right, I'm going to go with the CP for now. I'll just have a bit more yeah, options. Good. Uh, <laughs> radio tower. So now you got a bit more CP to play with. So you yeah. Can customize something. Yeah, and all those little numbers, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Those are all different custom loadouts you can save, and you can right. freely switch between those through, like throughout the game. You can make large bullets. Yeah, you can make large bullets. This is what we were talking about when we were talking about how customizable the game mm -hmm. is. You know, really how long else. they, how the speed, and how long they take to dissipate, yeah. the, the trajectory, all kinds of stuff. You can really, truly make the the character you truly want. 
Yeah, so like, you can turn X. Now, I saw this being talked about in the chat, um, how there's no dowsing ability um, in the Steam version, and and that unfortunately is the case because, you know, with, with PC, you have to, um, you know, not every controller has rumble, and obviously keyboard and mouse does not have rumble either. Um, so unfortunately, you know, this, this, like the 3DS version, has to be made with no dowsing. Uh, the dowsing is a feature that is baked into the Nintendo Switch version that works with the, you know, kind of basically the built-in hardware of the Switch and the Pro Controllers slash Joy-Cons. Now, see, I have a bunch of pixels. This is my personal oh, Switch. Right. So I have That's a bunch of stickers right. unlocked already. But we have, like, you see a bunch of Gal Gun characters, a bunch of Mighty Number no. 9 characters, mm -hmm. Gunvolt characters, you name it. Yeah. It's useful, like, if you have, because you can get elemental skills. Yes, well on, yes, on, yes. On certain characters. Um, so it's good to have those. Just got that one right there. Alright. Play this again. <coughs> oh, Radio Towers. My arch nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> It can be pretty tricky. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna die here. <laughs> at all. No problem. Especially without like any real upgrades to the weapon. Up, 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 up. Secret. Uh, <laughs> 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 Why is there no descriptions for the stickers? <laughs> Jesus. Uh. God. There really wasn't room for them, I guess. Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'm not the director. I can't answer that one. But um, You're supposed to know. Yeah. Uh, play some Gal Gun. Yeah, learn, I guess it's like kind of a learn you a them Gal Gun super fans. Yeah. Yeah. The team did a uh, fantastic job with the soundtrack on this. I've seen. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, you know, these uh, like I said, these are these are you know, not good. track files. Not good. And, you know, these are tracks and stages and stuff from Mighty Number no. Nine, and completely, mm -hmm. completely redone and rehashed to work in this you know kind of eight bit style. I smell twelve bit maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twelve bit with like modern effects, like the bursts mm -hmm. thing. That's very much a mm -hmm. modern effect. Those of y'all who are asking about like, what happened to this very specific feature, like I'm, I'm not the programmer or the <laughs> director. I don't really have those kind of yeah, answers you're looking for. Like, yeah, I, mean, I, I can tell you this much: if it, you know, if the team felt, uh, you know, it could be implemented without like breaking the game, they would have. You know, people like we don't, we don't meet us or any other respectable game company wouldn't just take stuff out just for, for no reason. So, if it's not in there, it's not in there for a reason. Oh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> that was one of those exploding guys. Jeez. I wish I could get yeah. the stuff I missed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can get that orange now. Yeah. Aren't you glad you can get the... No. <laughs> yes, exactly. Put it on Ah! <laughs> I just did that so I get the banana guy. That's all. I think I'm gonna customize the on dowsing. I think that's it. You, got the, I got you, got, you have enough space for it now, yeah. yeah. I think dowsing's 100? Yep. Yeah, there you go. I feel that rumble. Yeah, you can change yourself. Yeah, which, is that, which unfortunately, as I said, is a feature only available on the Nintendo Switch because, like yeah. I said, it's, it's baked into the Switch hardware. Have to find the secrets yourself. On the piece. Yeah, and both, don't get me wrong. I appreciate the, the technical questions. I just don't really. I, <laughs> I'm not really the person to answer them. Like those are things I would have to like. I can't just. Whoa. I don't know off the top of my head. You know what I mean? Oh boy. Here comes the stuff. Yeah. This is this is this is the time. <laughs> Whoop. 
you also gotta keep in mind, you know, we are a very small team at Instagram. You know, we're, we don't have, you know, we can't dedicate our entire, <laughs> you know, we can't dedicate like our entire staff to making ports and things like that, you know. You know, we, we do what we can within the confines of, you know, of what we have available to us. I hate that these guys are yeah big McTurk faces. <laughs> I I would say I I'm, I'm honestly either. surprised you picked this stage first. <laughs> you know, this, that aerial yeah. action that you, I picked up yet? Yeah, that's the first thing you picked up. Okay, good. This stage is by far I think by far the most brutal stage. Aerial action. But yeah, I don't have expensive. You gotta take those big bullets off. Yeah. Who needs that? You need big bullets when you can jump in the air. Yeah, that's gonna be really helpful here. Yeah, seriously. Ah, much better. Ah! Again, guys, I, I I appreciate your you wanting to know these technical questions. I'm just not the guy to answer them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just simply I I'm not a programmer. I'm not responsible for the actual physical act of porting. I wish I had more information for you there. I just simply don't have it. You know what I mean? All I can tell you is that you know, you know, things are not like removed or not done just just for the hell of it. That's all I can really tell you. If it was not implemented, then there was a reason for it. What that exact reason is, I'm not sure off the top of my head. Eat food. Yes, eat food, recover health. Yeah, Ashley here is actually quite nice for obviously. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. A royal pan that took us to avoid. You almost got another uh, Astro Sphere ready. Yeah. Almost. There we go again. <laughs> oh, you got the jewel treatment right as, uh, yeah. you got the jewel treatment right as you were going down. Yeah. Just a couple unseemly deaths. <laughs> That's alright, it happens. You still got a B. A B. I'll take a B any day. Alright, let you make this decision. Oh boy, let's see what we got. Yeah, see, now you can, when you beat, um, when you beat the eight million numbers, you can get their element, so yeah, to speak, and yeah. you can add that elemental factor, mm -hmm. um, uh, to your weapons. Um, I think I'm gonna go for max CP again. Mm. Get your options. Yeah. Those elements can be really useful if you're having a tough time on, on bosses, because they do have elemental weaknesses. Absolutely. Now there's kind of like there's like a small detail in here that you that Eagle Eye Gunvolt and Mighty Number no. Nine or people who play Gunvolt and Mighty Gunvolt Burst mm -hmm. may pick up on. And uh, if you notice that you know each of these you know these seven uh, well these seven Mighty Numbers have corresponding Gunvolt Two character stickers. All right. And what you may have not noticed is that each of these char each of these mighty numbers has an attack that is kind of borrowed from um, their respective yeah. Gunvolt 2 counterpart. Yeah, that's a lot of attention to detail in there. 
Those stickers differ depending on which character you pick. Yeah, 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 yeah. So for gun in Gunvolt's case, that's so what you, you have. You get the, the Gunvolt bosses. Red shot. And uh, Beck will get the Mighty, Mighty Number Boss stickers. Let's see what we have here. Got get Explosion. Gun, gun, Ooh, Lux Caliber. Yeah. Ooh, that Lux Caliber, don't you? I want that Lux Caliber, yo. Yeah, that Lux Caliber. But now that I did the. Now that I did the. Uh, now that I did, yeah, I can make big boy bullets. Oh, perfect amount! Perfect amount. <laughs> that's the, you don't get that very there often. That's go. nice. That's very nice. We'll get that dowsing. We got that double jump. Mm -hmm. Got that big bullet. Love it. Slippery floor, slidey boy. <laughs> the classic. Ice floor. Everybody loves ice floors, right? And I gotta tell you, these <laughs> these eight bit renditions are so good. Yeah, like, really oh good my god, game. the soundtrack of this game is just fabulous. The soundtrack is good. The sprite work is good. Life for grapes. I can do the double jump pretty easy, I bet. Maybe forgot about that. No sweat. Yeah, I wonder if this uh, the stage reminds Whoa. anybody of a certain gunboat stage. <laughs> I wonder, yeah, are you, uh, you Gunvolt 2 heads having flashbacks yet? No, I am. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to do, like, extra yeah. careful with that jump. Look on that one, you can just... Ah. Maybe, maybe. Hell down, you're not gonna get the ceiling. So when you're up here, it's you need to be careful. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Run, Jeeves, run! <laughs> Jeeves. You need to be a butler. <laughs> so what I figure two from this night. Okay. Take that shortcut, thank you very much. I really want the um the uh piercing shot. <clears throat> you know the shot that lets you Oh uh, yeah, no, that's good. That lets shot. you go through like you can you can make shots um go through enemies, go through walls, and there's even one that does both too. Yeah. Which is really nice. Like that, at least piercing walls is really nice. I really am a fan of that. Yeah, well, I, I'm I'm definitely big on the um, ricocheting bullets. Oh yeah, the ricochet is good. I really like those a lot. And you can customize the, the trajectory on those. It's really awesome. You really get good coverage. Why are the Mighty Gunvolt games called Down Gunvolt on PS4? These are actually different games that just bear a resemblance to these. I believe. It, it's... There are reasons. There are reasons. <laughs> there are reasons. Ones that even I myself cannot <laughs> adequately explain. <laughs> I, just, I think that's what I was told. Like, there's reasons. Like, okay. I'll take your word for it. Oh, it's Cryo. She's a little bugger. I do appreciate the baseball bat, though. Ow, butthole. 
at least one of the reasons though was that um uh, it came out I wanna say it might have been at the exact same time as the as like double P like the original Gal Gun Volt came out the same day as Double Peace did in Japan. Or yeah. at least around that time. Yeah. Um, and for that power of jewel on my side. Did Gal Gun Volt become our own one? Or when Gal Gun Volt Birth came out, it might have been on Gal Gun Shoot. I'm not sure on that one. Yeah. So promoting Gal Gun is part of the reason. Yes. For sure. At least that's what I'm called. <laughs> Kind of like, hey, look, we make 2D games and 3D games. Look at this. Game. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Very nice. Not an easy boss. No. <laughs> Not was, an easy was boss. A butthead. I was a little butthead. But she's fun, though. Oh, I didn't get like, any idea. <laughs> yeah. That I set out to do. I think we have time for maybe one more. I think so. Yeah. Let's see what I can do. You got this, homie. I'm not even power up. You got this, I'm homie. Get the items. Yeah. Not really too much. Let's see. Add anything onto this? Didn't actually get Lux Calibur. <laughs> I did not actually get Love Caliber. The whole reason why I picked Cryo Ooh. Stage. We triple jumping now. Ooh. I don't think there's much else yeah. we have to work for a while, but triple jumps are pretty pretty good, I have to say. Talk favorite Galgun characters. Galgun character. I I I already made mine known in this game. Yeah. My my heavy corona bias. Oh yeah. She's my girl. I love Corona so much. I like. Uh, where's main characters go? Oh, I'm looking over there. There's Shinobu. Um, but as far as like mob characters go, there's Maria. Oh, Maria is so much she's, fun. She's so good. Dangerous boy. <laughs> she's a trip. Oh, no. She is a trip. Ah. Oh, couldn't quite get it. Okay. Yeah, Maria is an absolute trip. Yeah. Like, no, I love her. Like I, 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 you know, I think it is for us. I, well, maybe not, maybe not, maybe for Shinobu or not. I don't know, but mm. um, just how much fun we had localizing them definitely, I feel like, plays oh, a yeah. small role. And uh, Maria is definitely fun. up there. Yes, uh, deep weep. That feels weird to say aloud, but yes, um, <laughs> <laughs> we've all been there. We've all been there. Um, uh, yes, uh, the Kamizono sisters, Maya and Shinobu, uh, make cameo appearances in the original Mighty Gunvolt. Ooh. They do. Oh. <laughs> One fight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I've said this, I've said this on panels, I've said this on Twitter. Uh, of all the games I've worked on, I think I've had the most fun with Gal Gun. Um, they're just they're they're just such a trip. They're just such an absolute trip. Fun. And um, like, man, I just have a blast working on them. Cause uh, there's yeah, cause not fun. there's so many different personalities. You know, there are just I mean, there's dozens of characters in the Gal Gun games. So you just get to, you know, you get to bring all those different personalities to life, and it's so much fun. Uh, I see somebody asking about the uh, Dragon Mark for Death. 
um, patch. Um, yeah, those are coming, um, the... Needed. Nice. <laughs> the, um, the weapons patch and the Oracle and Bandit patch will be different patches. So those updates will come at different times, yes. And I know y'all have been waiting for those. Um, you know, as soon as I have more concrete dates to share, um, I will definitely do that. Yes. Shouldn't have to wait too long. No, ho hoping not yet. Oh. Nice. And that new piece thing, I lost like the um the angle shot. Yeah, he's shooting to go up. Remember? Oh, right, right. I couldn't see it for some reason. Oh, yeah, I guess from where you're sitting, that could be hard to see. <laughs> yeah, so that TV's a little, TV's yeah, a little, little far away from you. That's totally fair. Ooh. Bamboozled! Oh, no. Got bamboozled. Oh, yeah. Get that CP. Going up. Oh. How handy! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Love the double jump. No, you didn't. <laughs> oh, you get, oh, you're getting greedy. Oh, you got it. That's not too bad. <laughs> you don't have a monkey shooting at you. That's true. Look at me. Look at me. You know, right before that—that that is the worst. That is. There's nothing worse in games like this than dying right before the boss gate. That is the worst. Yeah. Coming in handy, huh? So good. Dessert. Love his like just like <laughs> flying body press. That's so good. Uh, we're gonna have the big bullets here. Oh yeah, and they're super good for this. Watch yourself. Eat a, eat a... Holy pop. Oh, pop. Healthy snack time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love to increase my health with lollipops. Yeah, that works in real life. Absolutely. I would never play any game. You know, just the concept of like eating food to recover health has been around for. Yeah. Since, since the dawn of video games, and I always like, if you think about that idea for just like a minute, it's like you're in the middle of this heated battle, literally. Yeah. He's like, hang on, bro, I gotta get this on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah, he's like, did you even take like three licks to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop? Homeboy's just like, you gotta go. We don't got time for this. <laughs> well, the fruits and veggies are still the least amount of health, and fast food restores a lot. I think it's. Think of it more. Maybe it's more. It's, it's like a, it's mental, a mental health. Yes. It's mental yes. Health. I mean, what what makes you feel the best when you're eating some celery or celery a hamburger or a lollipop and a, a hamburger? A lollipop hamburger. No thank you. Mm. You haven't lived <laughs> Andrew Singleton localizer eighty degrees to you've had a lollipop hamburger. Mm. We'll just stay dead. Then. <laughs> just stay dead. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Hanging at NTHQ. As for when we will be back next time, truth be told, it actually might be quite a while since we are able to Ooh, stream really? again. Um, when we would normally be scheduled to stream next, we will not be in the office. Because right. we will be Obon. out of the office for Obon. That's right. I was like, oh. And oh, no. If we can, I can't promise this right now, but if we can, uh, we will try to stream between the week of Obon and the week of PAX. So in three weeks from today. Hopefully. Try. I can't I cannot set that in so right now. Um, obviously any updates about the stream will be posted on the NT Twitter and stuff like that. Yep. And then um, we'll be at PAX. And then yeah, so we've got <laughs> Obon break coming up in the middle of August. We got PAX at the end of August. 
going in September, we got mm -hmm. TGS up in there. It's, yep. It's got a lot going on here. So it may be a while before we see you guys again. Hopefully not too, too long. But until we see you guys next time, you know, please keep up with us on uh, Inti Crates on Twitter. You can check out our games on Steam. And uh, we will see you guys hopefully soon. But if not, until we meet again, have a great day, a great night, wherever you are in this great wide world of ours. And we will see y'all next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye.